Hi there. In this topic we're going to look at box and whisker plots and hopefully by the end of the video you'll understand exactly what a box and whisker plot is for and you'll be able to draw one. Okay, so this is what a box and whisker plot will look like and basically it's a really great way of visualizing and displaying the key information from a data set. So I'm just going to walk you through what each of these um, parts of the box and whisker plot means. So these two end parts will display the highest value and the smallest value and that we can use those to work out the range. These two parts of the box and whisker plot will show us the lower quartile and the upper quartile and again using these we can work out the interquartile range. And then finally this middle line here tells us the median. So the key information that we need in order to draw a box and whisker plot are we need the biggest and smallest values, we need the median and the upper and lower quartiles. So let's take a look at how we can draw a box and whisker plot. So we've got the summary of test scores for a year eight maths exam and we're asked to draw a box and whisker plot. So from this uh, data here, I can see that the lowest mark in the class was 23. So I'm gonna come along to where 23 is, roughly around here, and I'm gonna draw in a line like so. I can see that the highest value is 92. So I'm gonna draw that line in up here, around 92. I'm also told that the upper quartile and lower quartile are 74 and 49 respectively. So if I go to 74, which is around about here, draw a line up, and 49 for the lower quartile, which is around about here, I can then complete the box part. So just join up each of the upper and lower quartiles. The other piece of information I'm told is that the median is 63, so if I go to 63 and draw in that straight line there as well. And finally, just to complete the box and whisker plot, drawing in these lines here. And that's my box and whisker plot completed. Okay, time for you to have a go. So here we got some year nines uh, results and draw the box and whisker plot. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Here is the solution. Okay, that's all for box and whisker plots. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to compare do two data sets. Uh, hopefully you found the video useful and I'll talk to you again sometime.